the rent, Miss Collins. I should be getting my trust fund check any day now. Oh, pay me when you can. You are a very naughty boy. Yes, you are. Purely academic interest. Ever heard of the word integrity? How's that? When your fee for last term failed to materialize, I took it on myself as principal of this college to make some inquiries. Allow me to summarize. Uh -huh. You did not attend Yale University, nor the actor's studio. And as for that trust fund of yours with the First National Bank of Toledo, Pennsylvania, not only does the bank not exist, nor does Toledo, Pennsylvania. I'm intrigued to know how you thought you could possibly get away with it. I thought once you saw how good I was, you might just offer me a scholarship. No, there'll be no scholarship, Mr. Ripley. Nor indeed will you be returning for tomorrow night's performance. Tomorrow night, when the talent agents come. You forfeited your right to be seen by them. Conscience! But a word that cowards use. Devised at first to keep the strong in awe. Our strong arms. Oh, wonderful, are. Cynthia, just wonderful. So I couldn't take my eyes off you. I had to sneak back and tell you before I even swallowed you. Oh, you're so heaven. sweet, Bernard. And if not to heaven, then hand in hand to hell. Exquisite, Thank vulnerable, you. and a little snottish, oh, no. oh. which I liked. Mm -hmm. And you, you are, you are such a psychopath. You've always had a soft spot for psychopaths. Oh, yeah. Even wannabes like you. I'll stick it up your arse. Uh, oh, shouldn't you be in the gallery? Uh, yeah, I'm a bit late. Well, oh, God, Jeffrey's going to be losing his mind. <laughs> oh, you have to drive so far. I'm not driving fast. Oh, You're up tight. Now you should see what happens when you just kind of let go. Oh, no! Oh, no! You have to go so fast. I'm not driving fast. It's the earth that's spinning out of control. 
calls. Get out of my way. You want to You're a my bloody wife? lunatic. No, I wouldn't let you anywhere near it. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys. I'll pick something. All right, love. Oh, all right, darling. Thank you very much. Coming in. Coming in. Jeff, where the fuck have you been? Why did you have to bring your family, Jeff? All right, they have to grab you now, or they'll miss their deadlines. Please behave. I have everything riding on this: my house, my car, my face. One in forty. Are you wearing mascara? You are. Fuck off. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, miss? Excuse me. Excuse me, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to frighten you. Uh, get, get out, what are you doing in here? Well, I, I was walking by, I saw you sleeping, I thought I should wake you. Why? Well, what if someone not so nice came along, right? Okay, thank you, Nana. Now please, get, get out of the car. Are, are you okay? I... Yes, I'm fine. This whole thing backfired on me. I'm worried about your safety and now you're worried some lunatics in your car, no, right? No, I just don't like thieves breaking into my car, you know? I was, I was going to a gallery opening over here. My friend's the artist. I, I didn't mean to scare you. Are you talking about the art? Yeah. I'm actually here for the opening, too. He's, but he's like the new sensation, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, that's what they say. He sure seems to keep you awake, huh? No, I'm just exhausted. I was upsetting all night for my finals and... Uh, I fell asleep. I'm just like... Nigel, stop! Hey. Leave him! Oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? Nigel! I fell asleep. He was just seeing if I was all right. He fell asleep Sorry. in this neighborhood. That was smart. Well, you took so long, as always. What do you expect? Who is this person, anyway? You should apologize to him first. Accidents happen. Yeah. No problem. I spent 10 years in the artistic equivalent of the Sahara Desert, and then the tape decides to buy two of my pictures, and here you all are. So what does that mean to you? It means I can pay my rent. It means I can feed my face. It means I can buy good paints and canvases. And I'm here to tell you that the price of a tube of Crimson Lake is shocking nowadays. <laughs> and I need to sell a lot of these pictures to feed my habits. That's what it means to me. I'm not good now. Get me out of here. See, now that was a hell of a performance. Mm. I am so glad he's going to be famous. He wants so badly to be a star. Oh, Tom, honestly, who'd buy one of these? I mean, how could you possibly live with it? I don't know. Thank God I'm over him at last. What do you mean? He loves you. He's devoted to you, you know? He's not devoted, Tom. He's obsessed. There's a difference. Really, I can't breathe. Once you get past the sex and the hero worship, all you're left with is one bloody scary individual. <sighs> Guess what he wanted me to do in bed last night? He wanted me to choke him again. This time, he wanted me to take him over the edge so that he passed out when he came. I mean, is that sick or what? So did you do it? I'll try anything once. 50,000 quid, Jeff. <laughs> do you know, I can't decide which makes you the more jealous, Bun. The Derwitt's artistic career has eclipsed yours, or that he's screwing our slutty little Cynthia. It's not a nice way to speak about an ex-girlfriend. <sighs> Give her up, Bernard. <laughs> Cynthia's life's just like one big safari. She's always looking for the best game to bag. Derwitt's just the prey du jour. Yeah, well, why is she spending so much time with Tom, then? <sighs> Do you know, I don't know. She's way out of his league. He's a nobody. I've never been charmed by American nobodies. One never knows where they've been. But I know I'm over him. I recognize the signs. 
Wood signs. I slept with someone else for one thing. <laughs> you know, the guy that makes those big iron sculptures. <laughs> anyway, it is a sign. You have to admit. Uh -huh. oh. Accidents happen. Physics, huh? <laughs> it's philosophy, actually. I'm finishing my math test. You know, it proves there is no absolute truth. Everything's relative to your position in the universe, right? Exactement. You know, we're all gonna go celebrate if you'd like to join us. I'd love to, but unfortunately, my friend made plans. Sorry. I'm sorry you're with him. He did think you were robbing me, you know? <laughs> No, I think he thought I was robbing him. Well, maybe he was right. Well, maybe from his position, not mine. What about yours? My position is not to change. But at this moment, I'm with him. So what would alter that? I'd say I might change my mind in two minutes if he doesn't appear. Let's give him five, just to be fair. Desperate artist slash madman, full of wind and hype and rage for fame. However, tonight I want to say something simple, and I want to say it to my great love, Cynthia. You are the mistress of my dreams. You're the missing half of my soul. I ask you, no, I beg, with every cell in my body, I want you to marry me. Be my wife forever and a day, and the mother of my children. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look at this. That fool wasted his whole advance on this. He never fails to surprise, right? What are we gonna do? We're going to protect my investment before that bitch destroys it. Come on. Christ, married. I mean, where did that come from? yourself this time. What was I supposed to do, Jeffrey? Look, I'm not going to beat myself up over this. Good, then let me. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Dawood! No. Get back. Dawood! 
It's okay. It's not your fault. No, right. It wasn't my fault. He was a sick fuck. He was a beautiful sick fuck. Oh. Should we call an ambulance? What's the point? Prick's still probably laughing at us. You don't get it, do you? He was a real thing. Maybe. No one will ever know it there. What do you mean? It's over. We won't sell a single painting tomorrow. What are you talking about? Once they find out that he's... Well, there'll be a feeding frenzy, won't there? Only if the artist is already famous. He is, the Tate. Won't even bother to hang those two paintings. Museums and collectors buy paintings by artists like Derwood as investments for the future. Now they'll dump him. His future's over and so is mine. You mean that none of his paintings are going to sell now? They're as dead as he is. Want some, Sin? I want a lot. Bernard? Oh, yeah, right. Snort off his bloody forehead. How can you do that at a time like this? Cocaine was invented for times like this. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God, that's Derwitz. What? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is an inconvenient time for you to call. No, I believe I've given you blood suckers all the interviews I'll be given for quite some time. So do me a favor, would you, and piss off. What? You're sick. You're sicker than he ever was. No, you're good. I thought it was. To... Me too. For a moment, I thought that. Well, what if he wasn't dead, Joe? Then he's a better actor than you are. No, 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 I'm serious. What if he isn't dead yet? Then what? Are you suggesting that we postpone the announcement? But oh, no! For God's sake, Jeff! I was talking about through the weekend, Bernard. I don't, I don't like this. Uh, his paintings would sell out. And we restage this tragedy. Yeah. Only Jeffrey benefits. It's not about that. I barely cover my costs. Oh, I can't believe you! Derwood's corpse is sitting there staring at me and you're talking about selling his pages! I'm right, fine. You know what? Bernard's probably right. We can't do this. Not while he's lying here. We gotta move the body, Jeff. Better get rid of the car first. Is Good anyone I... listening to me? Shh! You gotta wake Eloise. It's the only way that Derwood's work will survive. Okay, maybe, or maybe it's the only way Jeff will survive. Jeff, give me a hand. Take his legs. Ninety-seven. High time you clean this out, Joe. Oh, come on, Tom. This isn't right. This isn't right at all. He's slipping. All right, give him to me. Uh, okay. Oh, God. God damn. Ready? One. Two. 
two, three. Come here. We loved him too, that's why we're doing this. You can see that, can't you? this to Sleeping Beauty, all right? Not a word. So we drop everybody off, Jeff loans me the Jag, I drive Eloise home. <laughs> the hell I will. Yeah, you know what? Maybe Bernard's right. Maybe it's wrong for us to keep Dewat alive. Thank you. Mademoiselle, you are home. Merci, but you knew well that I live here, Tom. I, uh, checked your student card. Didn't want to wake you, so I took the liberty of checking your purse. Ah, that's very considerate of you. Thank you. Good luck, Tom. Okay, bye. I'm so unpleasant. What? I'm so unpleasant that you wouldn't ask to see me again. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, I... Took your number, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see, huh? You should tell a woman these things so she doesn't worry. Yeah, I suppose. Did my purse also happen to tell you that I leave first thing in the morning for Paris? No. For how long? Forever. Well, so I guess this really is goodbye, then. Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye. Am I so ugly? I'm sorry? Am I so ugly you wouldn't try to kiss me? Mm, I don't know you well enough for that, Tom. Goodbye. 45, 31, 22, 45. Wait, wait, what? What? My number in Paris. All I'm saying is, if I'm ordering 900 oh, yeah, yards, uh, how much is the number? Well, uh, hold on. Uh, Neil Murchison. And you are Ms. Parker, Jeff Constance's assistant. I remember you very well, Mr. Murchison, sir. So nice to see you again. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> and what a pleasure to be here on this special day. Please. Thank you. Hello, my darling. How are you? Thanks so much. Oh, Serpentine Lady. Claire, isn't it? Thank you for coming. Mr. Constant, look who's here. Congratulations, sir. We're as delighted as you are. But of course, what did I tell you? What did you tell me? That DeWatt would be a success. Neil Murchison, remember? Yes, yes, of course. Mr. Murchison from uh, Iowa. Close. Ohio, actually. Ohio. Ohio. Dayton Museum of Contemporary Art. Or as we like to call it, the Bilbao of the Midwest. <laughs> 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 yes, you're the curator. No, 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 I'm strictly an amateur. Writing checks and raising money, but I know what I like. And I want to remind you that the Dayton Contemporary started collecting to what? A full two years before the take did. Well, then I should congratulate you, sir. Your people got a bargain. Oh, it's not a question of money. We regard Dewatt as a significant artist. His work represents an important return to painting, and we enjoy it. Myself and Mrs. Murchison. We sit and look at his paintings for hours until the pigment starts to speak. Our relationship to paint is very intense. Yes, I can imagine it is. What I meant was that the um, market has changed since you bought. The prices have gone up considerably. I read the papers too, Mr. Constant. That's why I wrote this check without even trying to haggle, as much as I hate to pay full freight for anything. <laughs> oh, but this one's sold. You're kidding. No. no. I was just going to put the red dot on. To one of the buyers from the Tate. There must be something else. I'm sorry, we're sold out. Sold out? Mm. 
You knew I was coming. I flew 4,000 miles for this show, to finally meet Mr. Duarte and to buy a couple of paintings. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Oh, I see. You're holding something back, waiting for the prices to go up. Believe me, if I had anything, I would love to sell it at these prices. Very good. Why don't you take this check in exchange for his next piece of work? Oh, no, I couldn't possibly. Well, what's the problem? It's not like Duarte is going to stop painting. No, of course not. Well, why won't you accept my check? I am his first collector. Yes, of course you are. <laughs> Good. Very well, then the next uh, dough is yours. <laughs> Tom! Sorry to keep you waiting. No problem. Oh, but so, the difference a day makes. And this is for a dough at painting that doesn't even exist. Make a killing, then, did we? Lots of profits to divvy up? No. I sold enough to nearly pay off my debts. And what with the overdraft, the taxes. Oh, so Derwick gets his fame, but you get his fortune. You are going to screw him, Jeffrey. Will you two stop bickering, please. We need to get out of business, Jeff. The full bugger needs a proper burial. Absolutely, yes. Tom, this was your idea. What were you thinking? No, no, you're his business partner. Thought you'd like to take care of it. What are these, Jeff? My brilliant partner's unfinished works. Could have been worth a mint. Christ, I could run this one downstairs. It looks complete to me. Yeah. God, Jeff, it does. Run it down and cover some more expenses. No, it's clearly not finished. How can you say that? It's art. Who's to say what's unfinished and what's not? always added a grid of some sort to the painting at the end. Now you're just being argumentative. Well, I'll show you. Look. If we start with some Derwater style images, say, a, a nude. Or, um, or a, a scarf, or a bird, whatever. Though it's easy to imitate. His technique was rudimentary. It was his balls that made him a star. Mm. Now, a lot of painters start with one, but he always finished with a grid of some sort. <laughs> that's a Derwitt. Huh. My God, Bernard, that's amazing. <laughs> wow. How long would it take you to do this in oils, Bernard? Well, um... Why? Well, what if Drouat wasn't dead and all of these were complete? All of these. Imagine how enriched the world would be. At least how enriched Jeff would be. And Drouat's heirs? What heirs? You know, he's got no family. Exactly, Cynthia. Which is why he would have wanted his money to go to his four closest friends. Before we split. Hmm. After expenses. It is what Derby would have wanted. He actually often spoke about it. Bullshit! He never did! Sin, tell them. I think that he'd be happy for us to have the money. Provided that he got the fame, that was what he cared about. I can't believe you. Are you serious? And look, I don't even have to return it. No! 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 Stop, you whacker! Ah, uh, kill switch. Security feature. Bernard, could you excuse us for a second? Obviously, we can't do this without Bernard. Mm -hmm. He'd do anything if you'd sleep with him. Well, what do you think? One shag the painting? It might take more than that. Mm. I'm joking. I'm not. Shh. We're gonna have to pull together to make this work, all right? I'm talking an even split and no expenses, Jeff. Oh, what are you going to give him, Tom? A reason. Everyone's been focusing on Derwatt's talent, his hype, his flash, whatever. The real question is, what about your talent, Bernard? What's your point? Who was the better artist, you or Derwatt? Me. Yeah, of course you were. But who got the shows, the attention, the galleries, the critics, the girls? He did. Why is that? Because things don't always work out fairly in this world. Exactly. Life isn't fair for real talent. Fate isn't fair. People are sure as hell aren't fair. Answer me this, how many of Duwatt's great inspirational ideas came to him when he was having a pint with you? A lot of them. Except I don't see your name on any of his canvases. Do you, Jeff? No. Yeah. No, the hard fact is that you could die and no one would even know you're a genius. I'm talented, I'm not a genius. Oh, yes, you are, darling. It's clear from your work. It's subtle, sophisticated, much more than Derwitt's. You don't know how many times I wanted to give you a show, but oh, the critics, too risky. Well, the fact is, we can give you your shot at greatness because you deserve it. 
You're bastardizing Derwitt. Not at all. We're immortalizing him. And this time it's just the work. No bullshit. No superficial focus on personalities. It's just your work. With his signature. Exactly. Exactly. We're deconstructing Derwitt. Oh, how postmodern. You just said it yourself. Life isn't fair. So now all you gotta do is decide. You're gonna go on being a victim? Or take what's yours? You know, you're not alone in this. We'll hold your hand through the entire process. We're going to be richer than God. Each new canvas displayed a purity with his explosive passion and reclusive ways, Derwitt is that near extinct mix of satyr, prophet, and pie piper. Derwitt's paintings reflect the same courage with which he skewers the pretensions of the art world. I'm coming to Paris on business, and I'd love to see her. You're coming to Paris? When? Tomorrow afternoon. Oh, one moment. I believe I hear Mademoiselle Plisson. Hello, Tom. It's so wonderful to finally speak with you. something for you. In your garden? Nothing much, but got a little uh, battered on the way over, but... Well, then let's find it at home. Come. Well, let's hope they make it. Ah, oh, you don't have to worry. There's something magical about the soil at Belong. What do you mean, magical? There's actually a legend about it. The story goes that a beautiful witch enchanted a marquee into building this place for her. She cast a spell on everything here that you see so that it would flourish and grow. I like that. So when did your family move here? The first day. <laughs> <laughs> that witch was my great, 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 great grandma. Antoine Plisson, delighted to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Forgive my English. I'm rather rusty. But I expect you to remedy this while you're here. Oh, I don't know. Your English is impeccable, sir. Eloise told me a little about you. I'm dying to hear more. <laughs> Ever since Eloise's mother died, we prefer to stay here at Belon. Saint-Tropez is not what it was. 
too much glitch and stuff. So vulgar. And all the fakes, the... the fortune hunters. Mm. Shameless, like bad actors. Yes, I do have a problem. Or more precisely, you have a problem. This De Watt is not painted by De Watt. We're rich as sin to Dalat! Mm -hmm. Oh, and of course, to Bernard, too. To you and me and Bernard. We've all come so far. Mm, time to take a break. We don't want to flood the market, after all. And it's time for Bernard to start working on his own things. For his own exhibition, as promised. You've made me so deliriously happy. I feel stronger, more, well, me. Oh, I'm so glad. It's always good to end on a high note, sweetheart. Mm. Ah, to the end of our beautiful relationship. Yes, this is he. Jesus, it's Christ. C'est joli, it's lovely, Tom. That's my mother's. I had to leave home when I was really young and gave it to me before I left. Am I so repulsive? What? Am I so repulsive that you wouldn't try to kiss me? Papa, mais qu'est-ce qu'il y a Eloïse, il faut que nous parlions. Ferme la porte. Mais qu'est-ce qu'il y a En tout cas, maintenant, ça suffit, non Oui, je fais faire une enquête. Tu as fait une enquête sur lui aussi Oh, papa, comment tu as pu encore faire ça Tu as toujours eu besoin de ma protection, maintenant plus que jamais. Savais-tu qu'il avait été viré de son école Ça m'est égal, papa je ne veux pas savoir pourquoi. Non, je veux pas. Ton ami est un charlatan. Not okay. Where the hell are you? 
What's your problem? Ah, problem, Tom. Ah, problem. A Herculean problem. Our American friend is back, claiming his new dough it is a fake. All right, calm down. What American? Magison. The one who gave me the check for the future doughs. Well, I convinced him to wait till I talked to him, but what are we going to do, Tom? <laughs> I don't know, Tom. Faking a picture's one thing, but this... It's all forgery, Jeff. I don't get the distinction. Uh, where are you going? I need to lie down. He's on edge. Yes, well, if you painted Derwitz nightmares non-stop, you'd be half mad as well. And you didn't exactly help things, did you? Wait a second. I thought Cynthia and Bernard... She cut him off before the last painting was dry. Enough is enough. For fuck's sake, Sid, you are sitting on a fortune. Literally. Once these paintings have been sold, the collectors will be begging for more. You fuck Bernard, Bernard paints Derwitz, we all die very, very rich. And Bernard can paint Derwitz from scratch now. We could keep this going on forever. You're not my pimp. No, but that does not stop you from being a whore. Shut up. Bastard. Just shut up for a second and listen to me. All right, here's a letter from DeWatt authenticating the painting. You give that to Murchison, he'll be on the next plane for home, happy as a clam. I'm going back to see Eloise. Here's her number. You have any problems, you call me, right? Okay. Is everyone satisfied? Will it work? Yes. If Jeff can keep the coke off his lapel. It's very trying, managing a crisis. That's for calling me a whore. Not important who this is. Um, just don't buy any more Derwitz. Ask to see Derwitz. Forget about how I know. No! Ask to see Derwitz. You know, the word gets around, whatever, just do it. Turpentine? What are you doing, man? <gasps> it's with the turpentine. Oh, get away. Get away! Give me the lighter. No, get away. Get away from me. He's going to kill himself. Calm down. Give it to me. No, please, stay away from me. It's all right. I'm dead anyway. I'm dead anyway. And leave me alone. You liar. Go away. Go away. Money than to put it about that this is some kind of fake. Strong letter. Mm. So many artists these days, they're practically illiterate. <laughs> that makes me feel a little better. Oh, good. It certainly put my mind at rest. There's nothing worse than questions of authenticity. Nothing worse than thinking you've been taken for a fool. Yes, of course. If you have any further... Uh, I'd does. like to hang on to that. The thing is, actually... Well, why don't I make a copy for you? All right. You know what does occur to me? No, what's that? If DeWatt's abroad and sending the paintings back, then perhaps something is happening with the shipping. Maybe they aren't getting recorded correctly. Wouldn't it be amazing if DeWatt himself was being cheated? I don't understand. What do you mean? But what if DeWatt's are being forged, being painted right here in London? Amazing. I thought about going to the Tate to ask their opinion and even going to the police, but I thought that might get messy. Might I say how much I appreciate that you understand the delicacy of this situation? I do. And that's why I decided to wait until I spoke with you and, of course, DeWatt himself. I spoke with him? I have a little theory I'd like to try out on the man. Do you have his phone number? Who's? DeWatt. Well, he's still abroad. You must have a contact number. Well, actually, the thing is, I... D I prefer to talk to DeWatt. Before I talk to the police. Don't you think that's wise? Yes, of course. Good thinking. I, I think I may actually have that number over here. Oh, look. Yes. Here it is. Uh, that's OK. I'll copy it myself. Uh, Chateau Fell Ombre. Where is that? Oh. It's in France somewhere. It could be anywhere. It's an enormous country, France. Not by American standards. Yeah, it's open. Grace, ruin! 
What, Murchison didn't buy the letter? He wants to see Derwent, face to face, man to man. Tough shit, tell him Duarte doesn't want to see him. He has the address, Tom. He's off to France. What address? I had to give him that phone number you gave me. Oh, what else was I supposed to do? Tell him to go and call Bernard? Next thing I know, he's on the bloody internet and got the address. Christ, I hate the internet. When's he leaving? Went straight to Waterloo. I hate the Channel Tunnel, too. All this faster communication is crap. It's caused us nothing but grief, if you ask me. afternoon, then they have dinner. Mademoiselle will be so disappointed. You think it would be all right if I stayed and surprised her? She'll be so happy to see you. Only I was just leaving. I have to go to the village. Will you need me? No, no. From the press. Piss off! Mr. Duat? No, I'm not a reporter or a critic. I'm Neil Murchison. And I gotta tell you, it's a real honor to finally meet you. Would you like a drink? No, thanks. Only weddings and holidays for me, sir. I want you. So I believe I wrote your letter. About Faust Bargain. What can I tell you? Well, I believe you painted a painting called Faust's Bargain, but I just know that the picture sold to me is 100% fake. Now, why would you think that? Picture's worth a thousand words, right? Do you mind? No question, that's my work. It's, it's close, sure, but look here. Cobalt blue. And there. And here. And all through here. Cobalt blue. That's so, all. Oh, whenever I start a new project, I like to go down to the library or go online and read every damn thing. And I love cobalt blue. No. You used to. But then, no cobalt blue for the last year. Not in any of them. And now it's back, and it's in my painting. It's not a conscious choice, you know. Stick with me on this, will you? This is my theory. Once an artist has used a certain color at a certain period, then consciously or unconsciously abandons the color in a later period, he never reverts to that abandoned color again. You see? Do you see? What does you do for a living, Mr. Morrison, huh? I mean construction. But you're not an artist, are you? Oh, well, I wasn't trained as an architect either, but when I donate something to the city of Dayton, I want to make damn sure we're not getting screwed. This is my work. Definitely. And I would believe you, if you would know what. You forgot what turpentine does to an artist's fingernails, didn't you? You don't even have any calluses. Where is he? Why are you doing this? It was an accident. Duarte's dead. When? The night of his opening. Oh, I knew it. You're a friend of Jeff Constant. You're in it together. You've betrayed an artist's vision. I'm not gonna let you cheat the good people of Dayton. This painting will put Dayton on the map. Dayton is on the map, you little shit. 
What are you doing? Hey. Hey! Get off me! No, you can't. That's evidence! That's evidence! Get the hell off! Down! Just listen to me, please. Stay away! Uh, Murchison, I have to change my reservation tonight, uh, 8.15. Good to see you. I hope this is all right. Annette told me to just make myself at home. Of course, there's no problem. Ah, bonsoir, monsieur. Oh. I am so sorry. I uh, am so clumsy. Yes, uh, I think my, my, my great great grandfather paid hardly anything for it. 
Oh, I'm so clumsy. I feel terrible. It's okay. It's okay. You must be Tom, uh, one of the partners in DeWatt Limited. I'm sorry, you are? Oh, uh, my name is Webster. I'm a detective of sorts, London Metropolitan Police. How do you do? Bit out of the way from Scotland Yard, isn't it? <laughs> now, what do you use to get them so perfect? Well, sunshine, water, and love. <laughs> you were saying? I was saying? What are British policemen doing in France? Vacation? Oh, alas, no, I'm here officially. Working with the local authorities, of course. It seems a certain well-connected American businessman by the name of Murchison was supposed to arrive in London a few days ago and failed to do so. Now, according to his wife, Murchison was coming here to talk with this painter, to what, about some possible forgery? Not exactly. Murchison was here, but to talk about or what, not with him. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Well, his, his wife was... Was very clear on that point. No, no. Fact is, these days, uh, Derwatt doesn't see anybody. Oh. Oh, right. So, uh, Mr. Murchison came to see you, Tom. Uh, and what transpired between you two? Well, I was able to put his mind at ease, and he left here completely reassured of his painting. I don't believe you. How's that? There is no way you could get such marvelous tomatoes without some special fertilizer. Well, they do say there's something magical about this soil here. Oh, gosh. It wouldn't be hard to get used to this kind of life now, would it? <laughs> so how do you know Murchison didn't just cut loose? Men like Murchison don't go off on spur-of-the-moment sprees. They like their sprees to be scheduled. They keep their demons on a tight rein. <laughs> oh, was there an accident? What's that? The dust on top of this pedestal, the clean circle in the middle of it. Did something fall off? Yeah, I knocked off the vase. Oh, 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 naughty boy. It was a nice one. So, after you allayed whatever fears Mr. Murchison may have had about his painting, what happened? Oh, well, he stayed a little longer than he expected, so he had to change his train reservation. So after he made the call, I drove to the Garden Inn, and that was the last time I saw him. What time did he book his reservation? Oh, 7.30ish. Oh, what a remarkable memory you have. The phone records say 7.32. You checked the phone records? Yes. Oh, speak of the devil. Do you mind? Ah, uh, well, sure, thanks. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. We're in a really nasty jam, do you hear me? Yeah, well, I'm a little distracted at the moment, Jeff. Just, just take it slow, all right? How do you do? My name is Webster. I'm just here. Shit. I've had the police round. It seems Murchison's been kidnapped or something. What do you mean kidnapped? Are you kidding? Yes, well, they, they, they say he never made it back to London. You didn't knock him over the head or anything, did you? Yeah, then I buried him in the backyard, Jeff. To just focus. Well, the thing is, before he went to see you, he made several phone calls, and I've already had reporters calling me here. I, I told them that Murchison would set them straight, but if he's disappeared, we're going to have the press all over us, Tom. And our trousers around our ankles. Tom? Tom, are you there? Look, just schedule a press conference for tomorrow night at the gallery. I'll meet you at the studio oh, beforehand, OK? Have you been listening to me? I'm trying to avoid the press. Just tell him Duwatt will be there. He'll answer all their questions. Delbert. I'll answer all their questions. Tom, are you insane? Tom! Tom! Christ, I hate mobile phones. Thank you. Sorry about that. Must be frustrating for you. So little to go on. Oh, I don't know. Worried, not at all. Clues are rather like cigarette ash in bed. Sooner or later, the smoke begins to rise. <laughs> hey, Bernard. 
Oh, he, you wouldn't happen to be Mr. Bernard Sales of De Watt Limited, would you? Oh, what a stroke of luck. What are you doing here? My girlfriend just left me and I came to see Tom. Oh. Well, hey, come in. All right, let me cut straight to the heart of the matter. These alleged forgeries, to your knowledge, was there anyone, absolutely anyone at all, who might have borne Mr. Murchison ill will because of them? No. No one at what limit? Surely, surely he could be seen as a threat to the firm's reputation. That's ridiculous. Ben? Well, of course. Not in my knowledge, no. no. You must know that uh, Mr. Murchison called his wife several times when he was in London. She's most insistent on that. Mm. He wasn't very well liked by your company, was he? Some people don't. Really no, Mr. Murchison was dissatisfied with one painting, not the entire gallery. Ben? No. Well... Hello. What a lovely surprise. Yeah. <laughs> and who is our guest? Uh, Mr. Webster of Scotland Yard. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. He's uh, here, apparently, because one of our clients has gone missing. That's awesome. If you think of anything, anything at all, contact me at the Hotel du Champ, which is just down the road. I shall be having supper with my French colleague. <laughs> here, let me give you my card. A little Bombay takeaway. Oh. <laughs> Please forgive me, I'm terribly sorry. Give me that one. Mademoiselle, would you be so kind as to speak to me on the way out? Of course. Nietzsche. To the right. Tell me, Mademoiselle, what exactly do you know about your boyfriend? I know his childhood was very painful. I make it my job that his time with me is not. You understand, no? Yes, I do. <laughs> so you're amused by me. No, no, no. On the contrary, I'm I'm my most impressed. Good day, Manta. Good day. I wish you would have let me call a cab. No way, I'm driving you myself. I thought you were going to confess the whole bloody thing back there. It's driving me mad. But most of the time, I feel like I'm the what, and then it's as if I'm faking me now, you know? I can't bear it any longer. We're going to tell Webster everything, just like I told Murchison. You told Murchison what? To ask to see the what. You're an idiot, Bernard. You know, you have no idea what you're talking about, do you? Tom, you can't just do something like this without paying a price. No? Why? The, the universe won't allow it. God won't allow it. Oh, you need absolution. Fine, Bernard, I'll show you absolution. What would you be willing to do for love, Bernard? I'm cold, Tom, please. I mean true love. The kind that can lift a man from the darkest depths of hell. The kind that isn't, that isn't worth living without. What would you be willing to do for a love like that? I suppose I'd be willing to sacrifice just about anything. Anything? Or anyone? You're scaring me! Shine your flashlight right here. What are you doing? You're the one who really killed him, Bernard. The minute you told him to see Duat, he dug his grave. So you can confess to God himself that you will not get clean of this. No, no, God, no! Yes, no, 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 Huh? 
Attendez un instant. Bonsoir, monsieur. Je peux vous aider Vous cherchez quelqu'un à l'hôtel, oh, peut-être Look, it's very important. I need vous to see... Vous quelqu'un à l'hôtel uh, I need to look to see the um, oh, English yeah, policeman. It's him. I'm not sorry. You're not sorry about what? I'm not sorry I killed Tom. This is wrong. This is this is all wrong. The man was, was buried here. No, no. It was it was the body. It was, it was buried here. No. And, 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 and Tom, Tom, Tom was right over there. He was dead. He's dead. I'm, I'm certain. Are you? The, the rain. They must have filled out the pit. A Derwent, right? I'm not mad. I want a body, Bernard. I'm not interested in some fruiting little arts fiddle. I want a body. Murchison, to what? I don't care which. And if you don't help me now, I won't help you later. Derwent's body's in Jeff's cottage. It's in the countryside somewhere, about an hour's drive from London. I, I can't tell you precisely where it is, but I, I know I can find it. Let me do it. Yeah, let go. Oh, it's bad. How did this happen? Well, you know, when you want something, something so extraordinary, but it's out of your reach, well, sometimes you just have to do very difficult things. What more difficult things are left for you to do? Just one. I have to go back to London immediately. Then I'll go with you. Bonjour. Thank you. You wouldn't think I used to be a boxer, would you? To look at me, I mean. Ah, well, such is life. You know, Bernard, all I had to do was to take this card with your friend Tom's fingerprints on it and give it to my French chums. And my goodness, he's got quite a lot of form. It's forgery, credit card theft, identity fraud. Thinks he's a very clever lad, I'm sure.
this way. You go that way. Come here. If you see him, come and find me immediately. Now go. Excuse me. Sorry. So you have this this mortal fever and the cures on your lips. It's fine. How about something sporty? Just go straight ahead. Do you need any help? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, what have you say? <sighs> Shouldn't be long. Sorry. I, I, th I think it's on the right. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I think it must have been on, you know, on the left. the time will start to go backwards. What? If you drive any faster, we'll go faster than the speed of light and time will start to go backwards. That means I get to fall in love with you all over again. Yes, I think our friend Tom is behind this and I think we ought to bring him in. And the other one too. What? What, a, a press conference with DeWatt? According to, uh... To Bernard, he's as dead as a doornail, so it'll be really fascinating to see who turns up. Well, of course I'm going to go. Yeah, I might be able to bag the lot of them. Oh, bloody hell, he's done a runner. When the rabbits run, that's when the dogs show up.
be back soon. But if I'm not... Mm-mm-mm. You'll be back soon. You are not always careful, Tom. Promise me you'll be careful. I promise. in a murder investigation. Murder? Murder? Fraud? Body snatching, too, according to your associate Bernard Sales. Of course, he'll walk away from most of this, having been so very helpful to the police. As for this proposed press conference with De what? If Mr. Ripley shows up, don't let him know anything's amiss. Whatever he says, go along with it. I want to give him enough rope so that he can hang himself. So to speak. So to speak. Sorry. Do you think we should lay on some drinks for the press? <sighs> Absolutely. It's my funeral. And after all, what's a good funeral without tons of booze? Now don't start spiraling, Geoffrey. It's all falling down around our heads. You coat off your head, aren't you? Darling, if I were any higher, I'd be talking to Jesus. <laughs> Madras forced people to do things. We were frightened for our lives. Hold this. Well, now that you mention it, I mean, he did scare me a little. After all, what are a few extra charges when you're accused of murder? <laughs> anyway, it'll serve him right for dragging us into this bloody train wreck. Kicking and screaming, huh? Oh, my God, I think I've just had a stroke. You see, as I recall, <clears throat> I dragged you guys kicking and screaming all the way to the bank. So? What'll serve me right, Jeff? It'll serve you right if... If they laugh at you. <laughs> I mean, yes. I don't know what you have in mind unless you're planning to go into a room full of journalists and try and impersonate Derwood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Wait. God, you are. You're not. Are you? Shut up. Oh, hey, I just saw Inspector Webster leave here a minute ago. Really? <gasps> so, I assume he got to you, did he? That's right, Tom, he did. Well, you're a murderer. Darling, you know that I would do anything for you. But we really do need to take care of ourselves here. Yeah. And... Well, hey, just for the record, I'm not a murderer. Okay. Even though I do have a dead body in the car. Anyway, I don't have time to argue about all that if I'm going to get ready to meet with the press. But I just can't have you guys talking to the police anymore. I mean, who knows what you're liable to tell me? Really, absolutely nothing. nothing. My lips are sealed. Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah, I really wish I could trust you guys. <laughs> Take some time to think about it, all right? But at least he didn't kill us. I never thought he was going to. Yes, you did. Take me to see Derwitt's body. What are you doing with that? You crazy? So they say. Go on, get in, get in! All of us, sir. They're just leaving. Thank you. How much farther? Oh, very close, Bernard. Very close. I can't believe I did it. Did what? Stopped you before it was too late. Oh, yeah? How do you figure? You're evil, Tom. You know that? Everything you do is evil. You're not human, Tom. Well, it's true. I haven't always been a good person, Bernard. And an angel descended, and since then, I've really tried. An angel? What, you don't believe in angels? No, I don't believe you'll ever see one. <laughs> see, that's where you're wrong. A beautiful golden angel descended upon me and has led me to the path of righteousness. 
Look at that be evil, huh? Shut up! Everyone says I'm crazy. I'm the crazy one. Well, it's you, Tom. You're fucked in the head, mate. In one hand, out the other hand, backwards. You're fucked in the head. No, 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 for God's sake, stop it! Tom, I'm serious! Turn the fucking thing down! I'm serious! No, no, it's just the gasoline in the back seat, Bernard. What? There's a can of gas behind your seat. But why is there a can of gas behind my seat? So the car can burn when we crash. But why would you crash it? Well, I'm not going to crash it. What, what? Do uh, what is. Bloody glory! My legs, Tom. Tom? Tom, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! Don't leave me in here with him! Get me out of here! Tom, please! What are you doing? Get me out of here! Tom, Tom! I can't feel my legs, Tom. I can't move my legs, mate. What are you doing? Tom, get me out! your miserable life, Bernard. So he starts uh, yelling and waving his gun around like a lunatic, saying, I'm Duan. I'm the real Duan. You know, and he really believes it. So they're screaming back and forth, and Duat's driving like a maniac as usual, and Bernard's waving the gun around like a lunatic. No way. Duat was in the car with you? Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating story. There's someone in there. Telling me that that's the what? Oh yeah, of course. It's like I've been telling you, we were on our way to the press conference. They got into an argument. The next thing I know, we're wrapped around a tree. And I suppose, uh, quite conveniently, that the what's life is insured for millions by your company. That I wouldn't know. But that's entirely possible. And you think this little house of cards would stand up in a court of law? Yeah, I do. In fact, I think the evidence will speak for itself. Well, what about Bernard? What about what he says happened? Personally, I think Bernard suffered a nervous breakdown. Just last week, he tried to kill himself. If it wasn't for Jeff and Cynthia and I, he wouldn't be here. And here's the kicker. Tonight, he tells me I'm evil, and that he thought that he'd killed me. I did kill you, and I'll kill you again! I don't think it would be fair to drag Bernard into court. I'm gonna get him, I am! I can't see how his testimony would hold weight. Oh, this dance isn't over yet. Not by a stretch. Oh, this 
5 heures aujourd'hui. Bon, faut pas oublier le pain, hein. Je fais comme ça. Dépêchez-vous, dépêchez-vous. Good luck. Enjoy the show. Bye. I always knew that Tom would land on his feet. Absolutely. Do you know what this room really needs? What? Great big Derwood. There's a gentleman waiting downstairs for you. Oh. Merci, Sophie. Ah, what impeccable timing. If my timing was impeccable, you'd be behind bars, no? Did you know? That invitations were required for these occasions? Oh, don't be inhospitable. I've brought you a wedding present. Remember this? No. Well, how could you? Bernard painted it while he was relaxing in the sanatorium. Yeah, I see he signed Dewatt's signature, too. <laughs> sure hope he wasn't arrested for forgery. No, on the contrary, I was most appreciative. Well, obviously, it's, it's a crime scene. Mm -hmm. There you are. Lying on the ground, knocked unconscious by Bernard, and there is the late Neil Murchison. Now, I didn't recognize him at first, so on a hunch, I called his wife. Now, according to Mrs. Murchison, hardly anybody knew that her husband wore a toupee. Really? Bernard knew. Bernard had seen him without his toupee. Bernard was painting him from life. Rather death. Mm. Let me show you something. I've always wondered whether you really had green fingers or whether, as you say, there was something magical about the soil of Belombe. <laughs> well, let's see if it's magical enough to make a body vanish. Monsieur Plisson has taken a keen interest in all the gardening you've been doing recently. aujourd'hui. Il n'est pas l'homme que tu penses. Non, papa. Je ne suis pas la fille que tu penses. Prépare-toi au pire. Je m'attends toujours au pire, papa. Rien
Well, you're welcome to play in the garden all you like, but you'll have to excuse me, because it's my wedding day. I'm not beaten yet. So that'll be your little secret. Tom, voulez-vous prendre comme épouse Eloise pour l'aimer fidèlement dans le bonheur et dans les épreuves tout au long de votre vie Oui, je le veux. Eloise, voulez-vous prendre comme époux Tom pour l'aimer fidèlement dans le bonheur ou dans les épreuves tout au long de votre vie Oui, je le veux. Et bague. Désormais, vous êtes unis par Dieu dans le mariage. Am I so ugly you don't want to kiss me? Darling, what did you do with our friend from Ohio? I'm glad you reminded me. We have to make a stop before the airport. <sighs> Sweetheart, you think of everything. I try. Such a perfect place for a wedding. You should really find a way to thank your father. I think the nicest way we could thank Papa is help him to move on. To a better world. And all of this will be ours. 